today, Bell and I are going to be firefighters for 24 hours. Check it out. First ever call. We just got a call, there's a house fire. We are here at the fire station. Today, we are gonna be firefighters for the day. Like literally all day, we got here at 6 a.m. We're leaving later at night. 6 p.m. 6 p.m. We're going on ride-alongs. We're doing fitness tests. Climbing the ladder truck. Climbing ladder trucks. I'm a little nervous for that one. We're spraying water. We're doing it all, you it's guys. It's gonna be so fun. I'm so excited, but we're really excited to be able to support firefighters. I'm losing my voice a little bit also, by the way, if you hear me. Let's go. I'm so excited to suit up and climb the ladder truck. I just have to do my morning inspection. Let me check and make sure it's good. It's good. We're good to go. I was on one today, man. The question is, do we want to eat breakfast first or do we want to work out first? Work out first. Work out first and then <laughs> breakfast? Yep. Okay. So when I'm at the station, normally my morning, I like to work out first. So we're going to hit the gym really quick, get our morning, you know, you know, firefighter things. We're going to do our firefighter workout. Then we'll get the day going, you know. We just have to make sure we get the pump in so we can help save the people. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> at your service today. <laughs> I had to practice, you know, that's just my morning routine. I gotta make sure I still got it. Wait, aren't you supposed to do, what's the song? Just in case I need this today. Um, oh, 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 staying alive, staying alive. Staying alive, staying alive. I think that's how it goes. I'm a heavier than I thought. We're about to go through the firefighter skill test workout. And this is when you hope a call comes in. So you don't have to do this. It's gonna be awesome. You ready, Bella? Oh, I'm ready. Bella doesn't know this, but the, the red hat means a captain. Yellow hat means firefighter, so Bella's in charge here. She's the captain. That's drippy. I'm already sweating. Get it, Bella, get it. We're getting the full experience, you guys. No, we told them, don't go easy on us. We wanna do it all. We're gonna do the whole thing here. Whole workout. Hey, firefighters aren't on their phones, ma'am. <laughs> I'm you taking have, selfies. You have a job to do? <laughs> I love it. This is so cool. <laughs> I just discovered I'm really claustrophobic in this thing. I wouldn't make it two minutes. Actually, I didn't even make it two minutes. If I was in a building and it was burning, she would be like, claustrophobic. It's really claustrophobic in there. I didn't like it very much. I'm already sore, my together. shoulders hurt, yep, and okay. we haven't even started the workout. Pray for me. We're gonna start the workout, here we go. I'm doing really good. I'm supervising for this first set. That's something I can do. So I can run. But these things are heavy. <laughs> My back hurts. That's honestly the only thing that really hurts. It's because the gloves are big, guys. Let me just adjust. Ah! I have a lot of respect for firefighters and their cardio. I thought I had good cardio. But wow, this is insane. Okay, this is like a whole man. <laughs> oh. The gear is so heavy. Come on! I'm dying. I'm dying, bro. This is hard. Never <laughs> Never give up. I can't see with this. 
Yeah, it's pretty hard. Got a lot of respect to the firefighters. There's a lot of gear. Can you see anything? No. <laughs> oh my gosh. Going up all flights of stairs. That was intense. I can't even tell. I took my helmet off, and I'm sure I look wonderful. We're saving lives today. Respect to these guys, man. 75 pounds, 70, 75 pounds of gear. Putting in work, though. Oh my gosh. I'm so sorry. It feels amazing. <laughs> that was really hard, but good. But really hard. I have no words. We just went through that workout. The energy I had earlier, I thought I had that in the bag. Flashback to Bella dancing a little bit. First. Workout first. Workout first and then <laughs> breakfast? Yep. Okay. I'm dead. Yeah. But it was really cool. I wish I could do that more. That was like, it was really fun. But now they're cooking us up breakfast. I actually, I kind of feel bad. Like they're making like a whole spread. We're getting so spoiled here. We're, we're getting, getting very really spoiled. spoiled. It's going to be good. You guys do it right with the crispy bacon. I love, no, this is, that is how I like my bacon. Oh my I'm so excited. This is exactly how I like my bacon. Okay, I have a question. How do you think we did in the workout? I think you guys did pretty good. And it's, uh, who did better? Well, of course you did. Thank you. Smart answers. <laughs> the air thing was a little freaky. I don't know how I could do that on like an actual call with like the smoke. It's a little claustrophobic. <laughs> you know, the extra weight and uh, breathing that air is, is really a game changer. It is. You know, you add about around 50 pounds worth of gear on your uh, your body when you're when you're doing that. So yeah, that was um, a and lot. Then the heat, right? You have that extra heat that stays inside that gear. Yeah. Um, today's a nice morning. It was probably like, what, 60 degrees out there when we were yeah. doing it? I have a new respect for firefighters today. <laughs> a really new respect. Hey, <laughs> go for it. That's where he was sitting right there. Here we go. Have you been in a fire truck before? Never. Oh, really? It's my first fire truck experience. I have an adrenaline rush. I just got in here. We're getting some delicious salsa stuff. <laughs> Shout out my boy Gio. That's that's where the recipe actually came from. We're getting groceries right now because it's been a slow morning at the station. They're gonna make us dinner later, so we have to get everything for dinner. I'm pretty pumped about that. Like, do I run? <laughs> There's an injured person. I'm scared. I need to eat. Like, I'm stress eating. This is my first ever call. What kind of injury are we talking about? You never know what they are. It's just so general. Yeah. Injured, you know what I mean? Yeah. This is so cool. Ready. A guy hurt his ankle on a scooter. We're on the way. <laughs> Why am I flustered and they're so calm? That'd be an absolute no for me. I'm sorry. I've seen what I needed to see. There's no blood, but that is a snapped ankle. Oh, I feel bad. See, I just want to give him a hug. All right, first call. I feel so bad for the kid. He did not look so good. He said he was in a lot of pain, but they took care of it. They are taking him to the hospital. That was crazy. I'm so excited to get Bella's reaction to this. I literally was like, breath is short. We got ice cream and I was like, the ice cream's gonna melt if we get a call. And then we got the call. How was the call? I don't wanna talk about it. So you're probably wondering why on earth are we being firefighters for the day? It's been really fun, but there is a good cause and a reason why we are doing this. It's really incredible because Pancreatic Cancer North America has partnered with the Firefighters Cancer Support Network to deliver high quality, 
accessible support to first responders with all cancer and their families. What's really cool is this collaboration will amplify the collective efforts to each organization to make a real impact of all the lives of all the firefighters, their families, and all the communities that they serve. All right, we have a couple minutes before our next call. Well, actually, we never really know. It's kind of exciting because you never know when you're gonna get a call, but this is the truck that we were in earlier, and I learned a crazy fact. So, come here, come here, come here. When we were in there, I learned that cancer accounts for 75% of line of duty deaths in firefighters. I didn't know that, and it was kind of shocking to hear that, and so what we want to do is just spread a little bit more awareness about that because I had no idea. All right, so we are in station 181 right now. This is a uh, special station. There's a lot going on. I'm here with Manny, who's actually gonna talk us through a little bit on how this station specifically is fighting um, cancer. One of the things that's pretty unique about the station is uh, really the dedication that we have to our, our brother Austin. Yeah, I'm um, wearing the shirt here yep, as well. Uh, uh, Austin Peck, we lost him to occupational cancer. Wow. Um, and so with that, one of the things we did as a, as a group is we dedicated the station to Austin yeah, and amazing. really to fight cancer and, and prevent as much as possible yeah. uh, cancer. But um, here what you'll see is where we have this unique uh, little homage to Austin where yeah. we buried actually some of his ashes here wow. where, when we, this station was being built yeah. um, and so that's pretty hits home for a lot of us and, and you know for those of us that went through our academy with us and academy brother uh, it, it means quite a bit and so here we can wash our firefighter gear or our turnouts um, we can wash our equipment everything to, to decontaminate it from all those toxins that we kind of pick up uh, during a fire or at a fire incident so I've noticed you have two sets of gear. Yep. So one could be being washed, be contaminated, while yep. one could be out in use. And that's exactly what it is. This is a cleaner zone than that was. Makes and sense. And so now we can grab our clean set of gear like you see this individual has here. So, so this would be considered all clean. All clean. So yep. now we're going to grab this gear and this is going to be now our gear on our truck wow. while our other gear that we had in that fire is getting decontaminated. Wow, that's really cool. And so now when we come in here, you can start seeing the different colors. So the green is indicating that this is a clean zone right and right. so any anywhere where you see green is where we do most of our daily day in day out kind of living yeah. in fitness areas and places like that all right so we just got a call out to a um, hazmat situation I guess there's a gas leak I guess there's a gas leak so we're headed out there right now that should be pretty sick yeah this is a hazmat handed me this I don't really know what am I all right go the station we're at, they specialize, they have a hazmat engine, that's the one back there, and so there's a gas leak, and they are um, making sure that this house doesn't blow up, I guess. I feel really official because I have a radio, and I, I think I look cool with this thing. I'm just going to listen, make sure, make sure all firefighters are accounted for, make sure everyone's good, it's my job. I got to go into the building if a firefighter goes down, you know, just living out my dreams. The problem is they, they speak. <laughs> This is so funny. Dallin is loving that they he gave speak, him the. They speak <laughs> with numbers, and the problem is I don't understand their language here. All clear. Everything is clear. Day is saved. Bro, good thing we did this this morning. Oh yeah. You're ready. <laughs> Junior firefighter story. Wow. So I'm here with Curtis Dunn from the Firefighter Cancer Support Network. He was a firefighter for 36 years, been retired for 12 now, and I just wanted to ask him, what's one? You know, like, I don't know, a piece of advice or support towards maybe those that, you know, have, you know, what do, what do you guys do to provide that support? We, well, we, if the, we get a diagnosed with cancer, we get them a toolbox, and then this toolbox is, is knowledge of cancer, things to do, uh, yeah. cancer, and talk about what they can do to prevent, what they can do to talk to somebody, what they can do to let their families know, talk to the firefighters. Um, and things, it, it's, just, it's a, a, a cancer survivor guide. If I could say one thing to the youngest fireman in the group, yeah. wear your mask, wear your gear, do what's bright, get a decon when you come out of the fire, yeah. get back station and take a shower so you can have a long career. So I'm standing here with some of my new firefighter friends and <laughs> I really want to ask what it means to you guys to have a facility like this that focuses around staying safe and just like what does it mean to you to have this? Uh, yeah, I mean, it's it's an honor, really. Like, I feel like overprivileged just because, you know, a lot of this stuff are lessons learned from, you know, before our time and before we got here. Like, a lot of the cancer initiatives, uh, you know, 42 right there was awesome peg. So, he was a brother of ours that we barely got to meet once. And at that time, he was already, uh, you know, not doing so hot with his cancer. So, um, you know, for us to come now here and enjoy this station that he never got to step foot in, it's like the least we can do is start to implement all the things, all the steps that he motivated us to put into place. 
so that we could uh, get a long, you know, the longevity out of our career and our retirement when we're done here. In the academy for us, we were already wearing gloves, um, doffing our gear, just to make sure that we're not exposed to all those carcinogens. That's something that we bring back to the station. We have climate vent systems here at the truck. We have clean cab concept, meaning you know, we have no gear inside the truck. It's all outside the compartment. So just making sure we're doing our part as well is super important. Um, you know, it means a lot that our city, our you know, fellow firefighters, captains, things like that care about us as well. And you know, make sure that we do those extra little steps and care for one another and pass it down to the next generation. So just to kind of show you guys a little bit about what the trucks can do, yeah. uh, we're gonna tag this, uh, this hydrant right here, lay a small supply line, and then we're gonna flow that deck gun. That deck gun is what we would use for maybe like a garage fire yeah. or a defensive fire. That's the remote a, control one, right? Yeah, right. Sick. So we'll let you play with that. Okay. Um, can put out about a thousand gallons a minute. So shoot big water. Yeah. The moment I've been waiting for, I get to do the hoses. I'm controlling the water. Woo! Wow. So we would use that big fog pattern like that. See, like we had a house that was on fire and we're trying to protect the next one from burning. Right. We could place that in between the two houses and do like a water curtain oh, yeah, to yeah. keep that uh, thermal heat from catching that next house on fire. It's cool because there's this it's like a, what do you call it, a fog? It goes to a fog or a stream. It goes to a fog or just a straight stream all the way out. Watch this, I'm, I'm set into a fog right now. You see that? Whoa. And then it's like, oh no, fire's back in the garage. Boom. We're blasting it. <laughs> see that? Okay, they just brought the ladder truck, which I'm so excited about. I'm gonna go up in the ladder truck right now. Okay, well, here we go. All right, we're about to go up. I'm feeling nervous. It's already so shaky and wobbly, but you only live once, right? My legs are shaking a little bit. This is so cool, way cooler than Disneyland. We're at the top. This is so epic. I'm nervously smiling. Wow, this is so cool. He's right there. You can't really see him because we're so high up. That was epic. That was so cool. I never thought I would ever do that in my life. Though. I'm about to spray the water down. It's going to be pretty epic. Headed to the top. Wow, we are high right now. It, you, you don't think it's that high, but when you're up there, it's like wobbly and it's so high up. It's such a cool experience. I never thought I was gonna do that ever. Ooh. Wow. Is Dallin is up in the ladder truck right now. He's spraying the water from the hose, so that is so cool. I can just imagine standing here and like the fire is all down there. And you just, what do you do? You just shoot it right on top? Or is there like a strategy to try to hit hit it? Yeah, I mean, you want to cool the fuel. You know, if they're big flames, you won't want to hit the flames. So you right. Know, wood that's on fire. Or yeah. Whatever. If, you know, like a big fire event happens or fire kicks up or right. you get too close and it kicks off, there's this right here. So if you kick this, it opens up like a water sprinkler effect and goes directly down. So if fire comes up, we can kick this. And it's like down. hitting the truck is what you're saying. Exactly, yeah. Wow, yeah. So we want to grab this out, get down, <laughs> kick that, and we can kind of, you know, take some coverage and okay. get back down. That makes sense. This is the real deal, Bella. You ready? I'm Listen. ready for this all day. We've been preparing all day for something like this. All right, we are trying to recreate or simulate a fire. We have the stairwell over there that's full of smoke right now. I'm gonna go pull the hose off the truck and then we're going to uh, march it all the way up to the stairs and then call for water and shoot it off. Spray the water, so it should be really cool. We got to put on the, the mask and everything, have on the uh, our air, and uh, we're just going to send it. I don't know how this is going to go, but I just peeked in the door. I, you probably can't even see your hand in front of your face, so we got to make it up some stairs somehow. Hopefully we survive it there. <laughs>
just got a call. There's a house fire. So Bell and I are jumping in. Oh man, they're flying in the streets. Flying. Connor went back into the I feel so bad. All right, so down in Bella went to the house fire, but I'm over here at a wreck. So we're just getting all the coverage tonight. I'm at the wreck, they're at the house fire. I wonder what is going on over there because on the radios, it sounds absolutely gnarly. All right, the fire is starting to go down. It's actually cool to witness this in action. They're gonna scrub down to get rid of the smoke. They're all covered in like black, like from the smoke. We're going in to the house fire that we were at. So we're gonna see the inside. I'm actually really curious to see how this all looks. Look at this. I remember seeing this at night and being like, the flames must have just like all been shooting out right here. But you can see it's like all boarded up. We're gonna go inside now and check it out. Wow. This is no joke. Oh wow. my gosh. This is so sad. Wow, that's the Christmas tree. Oh my god. Dude, look at look at the TV. Leaving the fire right now. Somehow we ended up in the back of an ambulance. We're not hurt, thank goodness. It's been a long day. We, we left at 6 a.m. It's 8, 8, 8 p.m. right now. So yeah. we're headed back we've to have some dinner. It's just been, been a good. wild day. I have a lot of appreciation for firemen. First responders. And first responders and 